all right then we make the two loops which go through the entire sudoku so for int i oh i equals zero i less than nine i plus plus all right one loop and then the other uh, int j equals zero j less than nine j plus plus like that all right mm. we need a code block here because this will be uh, long all right if uh, a j it mean if there is something which is not zero then we just oh continue like that okay it w it mean that if we find a number which is not zero for example in this case it will start with six then we just uh, jump to the end of the loop and start again with the next number we just uh, jump to the end of the loop and start again so that's what it means but it should be it should be known by you because i i show you all right we make the temple you know zero as you remember this temple you uh, will be contain that there is a number but only one uh, so we can write in now make a third fourth loop so int i don't know i'm out of letter x equal one x less than ten x plus plus uh, we use one and uh, ten actually if there is an equal sign here you can use nine as well because th there is not no zero actually the zero mean there is a gap so we try the one uh, and the nine and maximum the nine to it and inside here inside this for loop there is an if statement so if uh, row and we pass i j and uh, the number we created here r uh, x and oh columns i think that is how is it right okay we press i j x just let me decrease the tabulator uh, wide so we can see the entire program and square square actually i j x so <coughs> we just call these functions which we return with a zero and after we call all of the functions we check that uh, with the end logical operator are they all one if so then it will execute what is inside this if so inside the if there is another uh, there is another uh, if so if tmp equal to zero actually you can write not tmp this is the same but a little bit uh, shorter then make tmp to x as we will uh, make tmp to zero and uh, break that the this else will happen when you have already find another number but because uh, we write something uh, then there is just one and only one possibility so we have to check and if there is two number we don't want to write uh, n nothing in it so we just uh, set the temp to zero and break out from this for loop like that uh, and yeah that's it 
all right first we close that that and this actually mm, we have to write the if right here uh, let me just write this in because uh, it starts to get annoying that I don't know where the scope of one loop end and where does the next start so after that we need an if statement if t and p so if there is the if the t and p is not zero uh, it means we find a number but only one number if there is if we find two number that cannot be right in we set the tmp to zero it means we don't want to write that so if tmp so it if tmp is not zero then we set the value to tmp like that and uh, we can make the boolean one so indicate that the outer while loop we uh, have should run and just decrease the values with gap okay alright we close the attempt it is close the for loop the inner for loop and it should close yeah the while after the while uh, we have to check that uh, uh, the boolean so is the boolean zero if so we cannot solve the sudoku i cannot solve the sudoku like that else the sudoku is solved the sudoku is solved actually we should write out uh, uh, both cases the sudoku so what, I what is uh, uh, solved from it uh, even for test uh, we write out the sudoku when it cannot be solved alright so make a few new line like that and now we can write the sudoku uh, oh i less than 9 i plus plus and inside that the inner for loop j less than 9 j plus plus and actually we just write the a i j all right and there is a space okay and uh, make a new line here and this will code that it's right out as it should be but you uh, should be familiar with this already okay uh, i think we should uh, make these uh, functions so the row the column and the square okay let's start with the row function uh, make it here actually make it right here so it will return a bool and it waits only int integers int int and int all right and yeah first of all we need to make another for loop actually this is the fourth for loop inside each other if this function calls if this function was called so make uh, uh, who I am out of letters make it K for example or G never mind it's not really matter so equals 0 G is less than 9 
G++. <coughs> so inside that for loop we have an if statement. If A S G is N oh uh, parenthesis we want to return with zero else we want to return with one like that oh what is the s not s it is the i like that i think it should be i because the second go in a row all right and uh, then why the hell we pass the J? Hmm, I don't know. Never mind, we just leave it as is. Now we make the column, I think that is how it is, right? And we just press the G here and the J here. Alright, and we made, ma make the square. This will be a little more complex than the previous one. So, uh, not too much, just a little bit. Okay. First of all, we need a row a variable. This will be R. And this will be equal to style. Uh, so it will run everything up instead of uh, down or the normal rules of of foundation all right then we make a i plus one divided by three it is it has to be a floating point number as it will be automatically convert to an integer and we want uh, don't want that we want to uh, give a set a chance to that cell function and actually that's it uh, with that we calculated the row mm -hmm. now int column equal to cell j plus one divided by three all right and we have to make two for loops to go that that uh, sub uh, matrix inside the matrix. So this is three by three times three sub matrix. So for int oh we have an i already int g equal uh, row minus one divided by uh, multiply by 3 and g is less than this expression plus 3 and we want to just g plus plus okay I try to explain it in a little bit int age equal uh, column minus one uh, multiplied by three age is less than column uh, minus one multiplied by three plus three okay and we want to just increase it and here this is just as simple as that as earlier int g and h equal to n then we return with zero and as if there is no such thing we return with one not zero Whew, that was a little hard all right but it's simple logic if you write it 